Uh, a lot of questions around the air testing. Um, so, Stephanie, can you shed some light on this? Uh, how many air samples are needed in order to be successful for you, uh, the TVOC measures? Right. So, in general, the number and locations of sampling points uh, really can be determined at the product team's discretion using the um, guidance that we have um, throughout LEAD. And so within the 4.1 uh, beta guide, which is a sort of a, a light touch on the, a reference guide given that the rating system is still draft and in beta, um, but there is uh, guidance within that beta guide, if teams aren't familiar, that builds upon what we do have under 4.0 reference guide. But within the beta guide, it does um, provide details as far as ensuring that teams take those indoor air measurements and locations that are representative of all occupied spaces within the breathing zone of three to six feet above the floor during normal occupied hours under typical minimum ventilation conditions. So that's been pretty standard within LEAD for quite some time. If you have other special considerations or conditions or any more details, that's where that 4.0 O&M guidance, particularly the indoor, indoor air assessment credit um, will be really helpful. That does state that um, also at a minimum that testing should cover A, uh, unventilated or less ventilated occupied spaces, B, different space types within the building such as small offices versus classrooms or different subtypes, subtypes in a larger space such as um, open kitchen areas, larger office settings, et cetera. And then finally C, any recently renovated furnished spaces. So, a follow sales, start with the beta guide. Uh, if you don't have quite enough information there, uh, hop over to 4.0 um, and you can utilize that to understand what would be expected or necessary to meet those requirements. 